Hi, this is Professor Peter Barati, and welcome to Advanced Cost Accounting uh, Management Graduate Level. And we'll be working together over the next several weeks uh, on an online class. Um, and basically what I'd like to do is go through the class with you and discuss uh, the Canvas modules and how to navigate that. Some of the expectations that uh, I expect for the class. And uh, basically go give you a good scenario of how to get through the class, get a good grade, some tips, and so on. So I'm just going to proceed and give you um, essentially review of our class. So this is basically this is basically our classroom and it consists of modules um, that highlight the week's work and activities. So week one we're going to co cover uh, chapter three, four, and five. And I suggest that you get a head start. Notice that the due date is July 25th, but the class opens up to students on July 11th. I really recommend you not wait till the first week or the day before July 25th to do three chapters. These three chapters are not difficult, but they, they have problems and discussions in them. You probably have taken cost accounting to get your bachelor's degree or managerial accounting. These chapters are a review, um, and they're not difficult, but they're a good review, and they will, they will take some time to do the problems and so on. So I recommend you start the class preferably two weeks prior to the due date. So we have a welcome video in which you're uh, required to introduce yourself and talk about yourself, give a brief description, um, and just let everyone know who you are. Uh, a, a nice introduction. Week one, basic cost management concepts, job costing, and activity-based costing. So in every module, you're going to click on this week overview. And what this week overview does, it gives you basically a, uh, a summary of each chapter and the learning objectives, what you're expected to learn. Now notice with each chapter I have given you lecture notes. Some of these lecture notes are right from the book that you're required to have. And I've added other lecture notes from other cost accounting classes that I think supplement <clears throat> your learning objectives a little better than the lecture notes from the book. So for example, if you click on this lecture note, for chapter three, you'll see it gives you your learning objectives, a review of the chapter, sort of like the monarch notes of a chapter. <clears throat> Moving along, you will have some nice PowerPoint uh, slides with each chapter for the week. So if you click on the PowerPoint, you'll get some slides there.
Next, in each module, are going to be videos. that show you how to do some of the homework problems. I, I highly recommend you look at the lecture notes, the videos, and the PowerPoint slides. Because they're, they're very good, they're condensed, they get right to the point. Scrolling down the week, you will see you will have to do a discussion form. So the discussions are 20 points uh, and very simple questions that you will be participating in a forum. What I really want this to be is a discussion amongst the students yourselves and not so much asking questions, answering the questions uh, like a homework assignment. So what I want this to be is open for all discussions. If you have questions um, and a student knows the answer, by all means, help your fellow students out and answer the question. Um, try to get there before me, the professor gets there. Uh, I encourage you to be proactive here. Um, just look at this as simply a, a Facebook for cost accounting. And if you look at it that way, I'm sure I'll get a lot of activity and a lot of discussion. But if you approach this with simply, let me get my quick 20 points and not learn anything, get, get through this quickly, I don't think you'll get as much out of it. So this is, this is the fun part of class. Ask questions, help students out, be engaged, um, and, and do some follow-up questions if you have. Occasionally in these discussions, I will ask some follow-up questions if I see that the discussions are um, uh, basically deviating from the original question or if there's some confusion, I will chime in and try to um, get you refocused. So there will be some follow-up questions. I might ask them individually as a group, but uh, participation is very important. Next, after each discussion, are your assignments. And the assignments are in your text. Uh, 334, 336, 337. We'll go over the text in a moment. Week 2, Process Costing and Short-Term Profit Planning. This is essentially cost volume profit analysis, uh, contribution margins, and process costing. So again, you click on your week overview and give yourself a, some basically a review of what you're going to learn and what you're up against for the week. Look at your lecture notes. We, again, there should be some uh, PowerPoint slides here. Which will help you. videos now I will be doing some videos as well throughout the class uh, videos to help you get through the homework assignments videos explaining the case studies and some tips on the case studies so I will be doing some videos throughout class 
and sending them to you via announcements and then I will insert them under videos as well so videos is something that I'm starting I've just learned how to do I'm enjoying them um, and I do have some video ideas on these chapters uh, for example on process costing um, I think I have a pretty good technique to show you how to get through process costing in a very logical way um, again after your discussions uh, are completed do your assignments I'm not giving you a ton of homework here but the assignments are there to uh, basically uh, illustrate your understanding of the chapter as for assignments um, I require that you do them on spreadsheets or Word in a legible form. You can send them to me via um, email here in Canvas. Do not send them to me through the Bay Path email because I won't find them. Send them to me in Canvas. So for example, when I check my inbox here, I will see your name here and basically check on your homework, grade it, give you some feedback, and make some notes, get it back to you, and grade it. I might even do a video if I see that people are struggling with a certain chapter. I might do a specialized video for one or two students who didn't do well and basically go over the problem and the steps on how to solve that problem. These problems are not difficult. They're straight out of the book. They're not complex. You should get through them quickly. So again, each week, you go through, check your overview, check your PowerPoint, read your lecture notes, uh, participate in the discussions, and do your assignments. In week three, we have our first case study on basically a um, construction company and the case study is uh, basically on uh, the first case study will be more like uh, overhead applied uh, knowing the cost flow of uh, inventory um, and so on so the case, case studies will be sort of like comprehensive problems. So give yourself time to do them. There will be three case studies. The final case study is at the end, last week. Um, notice I don't give you any assignments. Uh, only read a chapter. Um, not much in the form of a discussion. So work on your final presentation for case study three. I will go over that. It's basically doing a variance analysis report, uh, showing and explaining variances and the components within those variances. So we'll be covering variance analysis pretty heavily in this class, how to calculate the different variances price variances, efficiency variances, direct materials, direct labor, variable overhead and fixed overhead variances, journal entries for variances, and so on. So this class really being a cost accounting or cost management class is going to emphasize analyzing the operations of a business, whether it's a manufacturing or a service business, Every business has operations, including nonprofit. And basically, strategic cost management is about analyzing the operations of a business or, or an a, um, inst, in, uh, institution that you work for and understanding the costs associated with the products and services that that business delivers. So it's about understanding not only how costs flow through a business, 
into the end product or service and how to cost that product or service out because you can't be profitable if you don't know the cost of your products or services and you can't price them appropriately if you don't know the cost so it's an important function for not only the accounting people but many engineers uh, industrial managers operations managers also need to be well versed in strategic cost management just as much as accountants so if you're not even an accounting major and you're just going you're getting an MBA at Bay Path, I think you'll find this cost this class to be very very helpful and interesting so that's a summary of our um, weeks and modules and how they work and we can discuss the text for a moment the textbook you want is called cost management um, and it is basically in the Bay Path bookstore and it's the seventh edition now you can join this connect website here it is set up for you to join but it's rather expensive and I think the class and the book itself is expensive enough so you're not required to it last year I did not have students um, join this website and therefore um, you're not required the students got through it very well however you might join this website and get the ebook which is basically where I am right now that basically gives you the chapters and um, if you go to um, any chapter at the end you will see that let's try that again you get the homework assignments at the end that basically on your modules so you'll see an assignment number uh, and basically it's right here in the ebook as it would be in the text so depending on the price of this uh, connect or the or the book itself you might save money by just joining connect but I think um, you'll you'll be fine with just the text back to our cost manage, uh, management or modules um, there are no quizzes I recommend you follow the modules if you go into assignments you might get a little confused because the way this system works the assignments uh, basically reflect the modules but they're not always in order and uh, you, they might confuse you I think the modules are the best way to go about and organizing your week on where to go uh, and and uh, do your homework look at your videos discussions and so on I will be grading weekly um, so the grades uh, will be uh, basically posted every week in here uh, on your assignments for your discussion for example there will be a rubrics that basically you will be um, graded based on this rubrics knowledge of theory um, build writing ability is very important writing skills uh, check your spelling good grammar is important this is graduate school I don't want sloppy writing or poor grammar you will lose points so the rubrics basically I would click on the rubrics and get an idea of what you're being graded on before you start the discussion this way when you approach the discussion you'll know the grading uh, philosophy that's behind it and you'll do a better job Also, I believe the homework um, 
will have a similar rubrics and basically there will be partial credit if you show your work and it's in a legible form and I can follow it and I see that you might have made just a simple mistake by adding instead of subtracting but you've got the schedule down perfectly you've got a nice format basically you know what you're doing you just you just forgot to to add a decimal or something you will get mostly partial credit for these problems so there's a good overview of our course that's coming up I look forward I look forward to working with you um, I look forward to uh, looking at your discussions and I think again you should get a lot out of this course this is a very good a uh, hands-on course where you'll be doing problems working calculators uh, doing spreadsheets so I think it's the type of course that uh, should help you in in your careers whether it's accounting or operations or so on so I wish you all of you the best of luck I look forward to working with you again and um, good luck thanks